Hi all, been asked by a few customers how to set up the swing charts, footprint charts and cumulative delta on multi charts. So let's just quickly go through that. First of all, the swing charts. I'm going to do first, add a normal chart. So we can add a, a one minute chart looking back 10 days. And a lot of people said, you know, where is this uh, ARPS indicator, this ARPS universal swing tool? Well, it's not on the indicator tab here, but if you click on the add on tab, and you go down you can see ARPS free universal swing tool click OK and you want to click o true to show swing length I like decimal places at zero you'll see why in a second uptrend color I like green and swing text color I like cyan okay we click OK okay and there you see you got your swings now the the colouring is slightly different to the way the colouring works on the uh, swing charts we use on Ninja, but still, it's close enough. Okay, let's have a look at the cumulative delta. It's on the same chart. What we do with the cumulative day delta, it's not an indicator, it's actually another instrument. So if we click insert instrument here, I'm going to insert the same instrument again. But this time I'm going to choose cumulative delta. I'm going to still keep it a one minute chart and break down by as traded versus bid traded and click OK what that will do you'll see you'll see there it was uh, it's a quotes received it was actually backfilling the data so what you'll find happens on multi charts it's not like the GOMI tools that we've been using on Ninja it does actually backfill the data so it goes back and finds the historical uh, bid offer information so there's our cumulative delta and now let's look at the footprint charts so again, the footprint chart is not an indicator, it's a type of chart. So we have settings, we'll go to volume delta it's called. They don't call it a footprint chart for obvious reasons. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an 8 point. Now that is actually an 8 range chart. Okay, so it's just called an 8 point chart and here I'll do 10 days back. Click OK. And it opens up pretty squashed when you start up. Let me just expand that a little bit. You can probably get, you can probably set that to, to start at the right scaling. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to do that. So again, you can see you got footprint chart there, fairly standard footprint chart. Um, you can see at the point of control highlighted. You can see the green and the red bars giving you the the balance and also an idea of the size there. So those are the footprint charts. So that's basically it. That's the swing charts, your cumulative delta, and your footprint charts on multi charts. And of course. Your footprint charts also backfills, so you don't need to leave multi charts running overnight to get data on these when you start up in the morning. Okay, so I hope that helps. Many thanks. Bye.